if I or someone else caught you doing things to yourself that I can't say on here, would you carry on or would you stop and pretend that you weren't? Hello, hello. What's up, Barry? What's up? Barry Allen, look, all in his flash gear and everything. All right, are you ready for the first question? We're gonna man heck no. We're gonna do ten since um it's it's been taking a while. So, all right, let's go. I'm waiting for that one really funny question to come up. Okay, we're gonna get started with something serious. Are you ready? Already. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I will tell you that everybody in chat will probably judge you for your answer. So choose wisely. If, if you. you Go, go to, to a, a restaurant, restaurant and have, have terrible, terrible service. service. Is, is it, it ever, ever okay, okay not, not to tip? tip? No. Minimum 10%. Mm -hmm. In America or in a different country? America. Okay, so... No, it's that's not, not that's good. Awesome. Never, it's never good not question. good to tip. I agree. Great question. Actually, in Japan, it's rude to tip. It's disrespectful. I did learn that. In but, yeah, other countries, they don't like too. It. Um, I'm not sure which other countries do it. I have heard other countries do it. But when I was in Japan, we were literally taught not to tip because it's disrespectful to the service. I think there's uh, some UK uh, countries too that uh, don't tip. Please uh, correct me. Uh, yeah, words are hard. If anybody is from the UK and correct me on that, I, I believe I heard that. that that's a good answer though. Are you impulsive or do you think first? That's situation dependent. Elaborate. I like to be impulsive. Uh, but I have learned over time that there's a lot of times where my impulsivity is is troublesome, uh, especially when, yeah, especially when um talking to people about serious stuff sometimes. Um, Wing Silver, do y'all have any input on that? You managed to finish the dishes, cool. Uh, sorry, what was the question again? Uh, are you impulsive or do you think first? Situational. <laughs> I'd say the same for uh, me. I, I'm very tactical. If it if it's a time to be impulsive, then fuck it. Why not? You know, like find yeah, exactly. yeah. twenty Dixper packs just to mess with your friend and make a drink. <laughs> or or when you gotta. I appreciate like, that, by the way. You're welcome. Um, or when it comes down to like paying bills, do you have to? Do you want to go get junk food, or do you want to go get? some food that'll last you until your next paycheck yeah yeah exactly yeah, yeah. sometimes it's both for me yeah I, I order i order it depends on my mood yeah if i'm having a shit day talk about <laughs> next question is kind of personal are you ready let's go if i or someone else caught you doing things to yourself that I can't see on here. Would you carry on or would you stop and pretend that you weren't? Oh man. Man. <laughs> Again, I, man. The wheel ended up on it. Man. I am I am not going to answer this question because you already know my answer. We've talked about this before. <laughs> no. It's too much to explain. Wow. I would cry. I carry on and take. No. I mean, hold on though, hold on, hold on. Like, this, this is like really everyone. situational. This is really situational. It depends on um, who it is. It depends on who it is and if they're joining in. I mean, you know, let's 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 have some fun. But I mean, you know, if it's being wings, hell yeah, let's go, circle jerk. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> eye contact, eye contact. You gotta make eye contact, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You gotta make it. You know, you gotta make it weird. <laughs> you walked it. I'm busy. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. No, that's how it works. That works, you know. So, um, what about you? If it was my mom, obviously you're like, oh my god, my mom walked in. You know what I mean? Like, my mom's gone now, thank God. Like, I ain't got to worry about that. But <laughs> that's I'm you so know. Good. <laughs> you don't wow, with me what tonight. A <laughs> what a question. That was well, a good question. See, to be fair, the, to be fair, the question was is if you she walked in me. on you. I said you wanna, I you or know someone. That? But no, you said I, and not I someone. I you didn't say someone. Like, if, if I or someone else caught you. Should I even be ashamed? You know what I mean? Or like, what's going to happen? I would, I would, Why okay, is she in the house anyway? I'm, 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 I'm okay. going to be like, you know what? Carry on. What's I'll going down? Come, come give me two minutes. <laughs> I said, if Cy walked in on me, I would just look at her and go, what? It's your video. 
Bravo! <laughs> oh, man. I will neither confirm nor deny any allegations at hand at this time. <laughs> Hashtag side socials. Hashtag you should see your husband. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, here's a, here's her here's her bookmark. Here's I have to actually search. Okay, we're now we're going a little bit more tame with this question. Would you rather have a home on the beach or in the mountains? Mountains. mountains. Mountains, easy, easy. Okay. I'm from there. Um, I I love fishing. I love hunting. Uh, mountains, easy, easy pick for me. Thank you. Would do the beach. I would do mountain. I like the beach in theory, but I hate sand. Yep, same. I hate chewing it because it always ends up in my mouth. It, it goes in nether regions that I don't even like to talk about. It's just very yeah. uncomfortable all around. I, I will say I am not the biggest fan of the ocean. But living in the desert in between mountains and the beach, I prefer the beach. I see that. Hmm. I see that. Yeah. All right. Is this, que okay, <clears throat> is this question number five or four? Five. Okay. Question number five. If your life was a movie, what would it be called? The Flash. <laughs> the Flash. <laughs> Very good answer. <laughs> I know what Silver's would be. That reminds well, me of a comic book too. It, S Silver's movie name title would be The Great Ape Escape. I was thinking uh, Red Mountain. I can't. Ooh, <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah. Only if he was just my co-star. No, I'd have oh. to have Jaeger be my co-star. He's like a bird. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> That's so funny. What is the silliest pickup line or phrase someone used on you to win your attention? On oh, me, that, that doesn't happen. Me. Yeah, that doesn't happen for me either. Here, I got one for you. And I know most people will get this reference. What? How you doing? That's a good line. How you doing? What's up? Do you know what it's from? I mean, I say how you doing all the time, so I don't know exactly no, what it's from, but I know it's from that's multiple so things. Miami, girl. That's Friends. It's, it's, it's exactly. Oh, I don't want it's that. from a show from the 90s. You never watched Friends? I never liked I Friends. Next question. What is your idea of the perfect date? The perfect the date. <laughs> I am so. I mean, for the la for lack of a better word, I'm a fucking simp. Like, cook <laughs> some corn and chocolate. Like... <laughs> That's terrible. Corn that's for terrible. TOS purposes. Corn and chocolate. Oh, no. actually, that's how oh, my like, dates go. That's how my dates go. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. By the way, how was your Valentine's Day? It was a Monday night. I didn't get shit. Oh, didn't get chocolate though. Yet. Okay, sorry, yeah, Barry. What point. was your answer? I got sidetracked by that answer. I was saying, like, for a lack of a better term, I'm a fucking simp. So, I mean, it's not. It would, I don't like. It would make you happy to do it. Would make her happy. Yeah, absolutely. Because I love, like, it, like literally. So check this out. This is what I did Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, I was literally talking to like broken-hearted people, trying to lift them up and trying to make Aww. them feel better about Valentine's. Day. I was like, I don't want anybody to fucking feel like this, dude, because I feel super fucking alone, especially on days like that. Yeah. And so I was like, I'm going to do like, I'm going to see how people are doing. And then I, it was crazy. There was at least 10 people that was like, I fucking hate Valentine's Day. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? Like, I, I'm broken. I get it. And I'm hurting and I'm lonely. But like, it's a day meant for love. Like, try to find it. Try to find love. Like, try to be happy. In hey, whatever yeah. you got going on, I, I bought myself fucking chocolates. Well, yeah, you know, I bought, I bought my dog all the time. Well, Speaking of which, what time see, is it? I bought my dog fucking Valentine's Day stuff because I was like, I love oh, my dog. Dogs so. are so much better than humans. So <laughs> let, let me say this: as someone who will actively go out and say, "Fuck Valentine's Day," Happy Singles Day. Look, um, I'm married and I well, like on, 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 uh, Valentine's hold Day. On. Hold on, I have a valid reason because Valentine's Day hey, Lord, is a you? Hallmark holiday. It is. No, who cares? Who cares? You, I agree. You should be treating the person you love like that every single and fucking that's day. that's why I don't like Valentine's Day. But you day. know damn well you're not. Because my, it takes too much work my, every single day. My, every single day? No, no, every am, single day. Not, I am married to a man who love. treats every single day like Valentine's Day. Like, uh, every I single day. Not, yes, every yeah, single day. I, to be fair. Uh, I locked the fuck with my out. Ex I ain't gonna lie. To, I still treat my ex fiance, who we do not really get along sometimes. I will still go out and buy her chocolates just because. And that's mm -hmm. good. And that, and that, I'm single. The fuck does it matter? <laughs> I don't need to do that shit for her. But you do, and it's nice. If, if it, if it's easy for me to do that as just, hey, here, I appreciate you. 
why does it have to be one specific day dedicated for the man to sh uh, typically stereotypically the man or one significant other to treat another significant other to show them that they love no, no 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 y'all missing it y'all missing it you're missing it you're missing the point <laughs> okay. it's an extra special day like you show that love every day cool whatever fine fine you're both lying, by the way. It's not every single fucking day. There's no way. I don't oh, believe. Okay. I don't believe there's not. You don't have one bad day. I, you I don't believe no, that. No, no, no. You, you could always there have a bad day. one bad day. I'll tell you, you what. You could lie. always have a bad day, but yes. when Listen. there's that give and take, the other person yes. carries that weight. Yes, and that's fine. That's let fine. me let me make a comment okay. on the bad cool. day thing. The a bad yes, there is several bad days, and yeah, like granted, my marriage has not been the easiest. We we've had all kinds of hurdles to go through, but what makes it valentine's day to me is that he's after after all the anger after you know we 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 move past and accept whatever disagreement that we had he's still willing to communicate with me and then show me that he loves me by communicating with me so to me that's what valentine's day is now like, granted okay, my, yeah. my extra special day is my birthday that's my birthday. It's all about me. We celebrate me. That's my Valentine's that, that, Day. That is a whole different. That is a whole so different see, thing, considering that it's literally your day. Yes, exactly. Okay, see, that's but that's the whole point of Valentine's Day too, is so that you have an extra special moment. You have an extra special day. You already show the love. Just show it extra that day. I, I mean, I I I, I, I get that. I get that. No, great. Like my husband no. got up on Valentine's Day morning to go to work, and he was like, "Oh, hey, I got something for you," and he gave me some chocolates, and I was like, "Oh, baby, thank you." Like stuff like that is really sweet, and I love it. And like I, I get, I get that. And he, he loves Valentine's Day, so like I'll celebrate it with him and stuff like that. But I don't Dang. think you need Valentine's Day. It is nice to Jake, celebrate. Right now we are still getting the lobby together, though. Yeah. I, I agree. You don't need Valentine's Day. So actually, you know what? I would say some people actually need Valentine's Day because they they suck at loving people. So yeah, I can I can get that. But everybody wants to love. But that's so that's you know all it is. People do not know how to treat other people. I've dated women. Right, that right. Are and like, there's some people that no, don't I'm know so how broken. to accept love. I, I don't know how to exactly. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Hashtag silver. So broken. That's a lie. You accept <laughs> my love all the time. <laughs> Oh, you stopped throwing about, yeah, dimes on the fucking ground, so I had to pick them up in front of you, you jerk. Marriage is never hey, easy. They weren't dimes, uh, they were quarters. It's working so a lot of communication. Exactly I tell you, yes, you're exactly right. More. But no, the way I see, the way I see, I don't like the commercialism of Valentine's <laughs> Day. Yeah. But I do agree no. with Barry that that Valentine's Day is a day where, let's say, you know, let's say, let's say for for hypothetically, you did go out and every day you like stereotypically. You bring your wife home a dozen roses every day. Let's say you do that 365 days a year. Let's say you did do that on Valentine's Day. You bring her two dozen. Yeah. Yeah. I can agree. That with type that. of situation. Yep. It's you, funny. You take that's that. Literally... You take that bottle of love and you pour just a little bit more out that day. But you know it's funny that you say about the flowers. Just right and tip it. Not that it has anything to do with Valentine's Day, but every time AK buys me flowers, he goes, "How long do you think until they die?" Because I that's love. How good no, I love dead flowers. And he can't buy me dead oh flowers, God. so okay, he buys me flowers so I can watch them die. I, I hang them up upside down and I spray hairspray so like I keep them in his own sting. Or and I make keepsake stuff too, so I'll like take the dead flowers and I'll put them in stuff. So he's like, "How long do you think until they die?" He's like, "I won't put water oh in this vase, I promise." I mean, Valentine's Day is the day that even though you normally do butt stuff, you on February fourteenth you ask first. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good discussion. I like that. Do you think you fall for a person fast? No, you have to get out of insurance. Thousand percent. You do? Not anymore. Like, literally, <laughs> literally. Like, this is part of the reason I love Barry Allen, and they, this is why they've called me the fastest man alive before, is because it's not that. I mean, I will neither confirm nor deny how fast I actually come <laughs> to someone's party, love, and <laughs> presence. Um, however, no, um, no, I, yeah, I fall quick. I fall quick. I know quick. Like I know me. Like I, if I know you like longer than a week or two, I know if I want you in my life, if, as a friend, or as a lover for however long I think you're gonna be in there. I, I know. I know myself, and I know how hopelessly romantic I am. That's good. <laughs> I, <just played> <laughs> I, I used to um, fall really hard, really fast. But after being burned so many times, now there's major trust issues yeah. that I just don't. I just, when somebody says, if somebody ever has, you know, comes up to me and tells me they love me, I'm like, yeah, for now. 
So yeah, I got exactly. I've, I've put no, I put a major wall up. You know what I I used to say <laughs> when someone says uh, or if someone ever said that they love me, I'm like, you know what? I love you as much as you love me. Especially if I thought oh, they were bullshitting. Damn. Dang said I love I mean, you sober, now clap those cheeks. <laughs> I'm just down to get burned. Can I watch? All the time. Okay <laughs> that's what happens. That's what happens to me too. Because I go above. I, I go above and beyond. Like if I do care about somebody and I trust them, man, I will. Like I've literally sold the only vehicle I've had to pay somebody else's freaking rent for them, and they're like, "Well, how are you gonna get to work?" I'm like, "I'll figure it out." Damn. I'll figure it out. I got a bicycle. You know what I mean? Like. Wait. Hold on. Yeah. Let, me, let me stop you guys there. That is most guys' typical phrase to say, myself included. I'll figure it out because you know what? Because everyone out, yeah. expects a guy to be strong. Hey, hey, okay, I'm, I'm six foot three thirty. I got some fucking strength for me. Not only that, I'll figure it out. Even emotionally yeah. and mentally strong, we will just be like, we'll figure it out. Fuck it. Yeah, 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 I get that. No, so like, not only do our men like expected to be strong and stuff or whatever, but um, even when, like, even when I, like, so like, I'm in a, I'm in a veteran circle, mm -hmm. and in in our veteran circles, we go to each other, and we talk. <laughs> yeah, that too. Um, we go to each other and we talk about the stuff, you know, like PTSD, anxiety, depression, yeah. and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Um, especially on Saturdays, and then, like, even still, even though I have guys that I go to about that deep stuff, that it's like, hey man, I'm really hurting in this area. This is what's going on with my life. When you do that, and you feel vulnerable and weak or whatever, they tell you you're not, and you're, and you're like, you know, you're you're stronger for it because it it, it takes it takes some balls to go to a man and be like, hey man, I feel like a bitch, basically, right? And so, but with that, not only are we expected to be strong, but when you do that and then you have that shit going on and then you tell somebody about it, all they can say is, fuck, that sucks. Yeah. It's like, through. bro, why do I, why do I even go to you? You know what I mean? Like, right. why do I even bring this stuff up? Because nobody's got the, it's, it just, for me, for me, at least no one has the words to comfort me Thank you, when sis. I'm going Thank through you for the follow. Sorry. And it's like, dude, I can't, it, it, it doesn't matter what I say to who or when I say it to anybody. And so I don't want to be a burden on anybody because I'm just going to yeah. bring them down because there's nothing they can say or do that's going to get me out of my funk. Sometimes and so just have somebody no, we hold it in and we have to be strong. No, I don't know if it's, I seen a TikTok that said this and I thought it, it's true for me. I don't know if it's true awesome for anybody day. else, we'll but, but it's, but it's. Possible. It's on the uh, it's on the uh, being a man side of things. If a man, if you ask a man if he's all right, and he and how is he doing? He goes, I'm all right. Oh, he's not yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. And yep. and if you ever tell somebody, you know, hey, if you need me, call me. The person you're telling that to is not going to call you. Nope. Because they care about if they care about you, they care going to care about you so much. They're not going to put their shit on you. And as yep. and as men, we well, I mean, for me, I don't feel like it's right for me. To do that like if i go to a funeral like when my grandpa died he was my best friend it hurt like hell for a week i could not cry in front of anybody because i had to be the guy everybody le leaned on but when i went yeah. to my room i bawled and bawled and yeah. bawled but yeah i couldn't do that in front of anybody else even for like my dad i'm like I, you know cry, I, you know go ahead and i'm here for you dad go ahead but nobody knew how bad i was hurting because i'm not allowed to say i'm not allowed to say it yeah i understand that but now that I found out that I'm an empath, I cry at the drop of a hat. Bird shits on somebody's freshly washed car, and I'm like, that's That's, that's, that's why my wall is all the way up here, because I just block everything out now. <laughs> like, I don't feel anything. So, like, if somebody's around me, like, really upset, I really do genuinely try to be there for them. But if I'm in person with them, like, my friends joke around with me all the time. Like, I'm there to listen, and I can give some really good advice, but from a distance, I'm like... Just because I can't get close, because if I'm gonna be strong for you, I have to be strong for you. Because if I get too in, in it, then if I'm I not. If I let you in, then I feel. I'm too. not going to be strong yeah. for you. So like all my all my really close friends, like they know that like if I feel like I need to be strong for them, like I will I will push back, but I will listen. I will be there. But like physically, I I have to be from a distance, like. That's what makes us great. See, I'm, I'm getting better. Shoulder, I'm getting... Because I will not be strong for you. You will be trying to lift me up because I'll be crying just as much as you. <laughs> like... But what one thing I have learned is that no matter who comes to you, even if you don't know what to say, like I have a brother who who's ex-military and he suffers from a lot of stuff. Um, and I know like you, Barry was just saying, 
you know, like if Barry was ever come to me, it's like, man, I can't relate to what you're talking about, but I will cry with you yeah. if that will help you. Yeah. Are, I will, you will not be alone. I will, I'm, I'm teared up right now. I will cry with you if that will help. Yeah. Because no human should ever have to suffer like that. Sometimes it just helps mm. telling the person that you hear them. Like, I hear you. Not, yeah, not, that's true. Not, right. I know where you're coming from. Not, let me tell you my story so I can tell you that I relate. Sometimes it's just, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. I, yeah. That, yeah. I am sorry that you're feeling that way. And I cannot relate to your personal experience, but I hear you. And just, mm. just saying, I hear you makes a world of difference in communication with somebody who just, if, if you don't know what to say and they don't know what to say and you there's you know no advice is being asked for just telling the person validating their feelings and tell them that you hear them you know that makes a world of difference it's those little little phrases like that because yeah like i hear you just something like you're saying somebody's knowing that hey this person hears what i'm saying mm -hmm. or also like if somebody does something for you if you look at someone who, who who gives you something or does something like that like when king come in tonight and he dropped 10 bits on or 10 subs on me yeah i literally was thank you I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Something like that will mean so much more than just saying, hey, thanks, you know, or you yeah. know, whatever. But if you let somebody know that you deeply appreciate something, which oh, is yeah. what people will tell me all the time, and that you guys have even said it where, like, I at the end of my streams, I always close it with a very heartfelt thank you. because I, see I you, Siren. Okay. I, because right. I yeah. do appreciate everybody so damn much because being disabled and trying to live is, it's it's impossible. If I didn't have the government programs, I wouldn't know what to do. And it's like because of, you know, like stream tonight with the bits and the subs that like you guys know I say it all the time. I don't feel I deserve it because of you guys. The goddamn, I'm gonna sit your ass down and take it. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> sit on you and take it. That but... backfired. Um, but no, it's like but because oh, but, but because <laughs> but because somebody did that because of you guys in the community, I can get my car. I'll be able to get my car fixed sooner than what I thought, oh, which is important great. to me because my dad, who's dying of cancer, I have to take him to his doctor's appointments. That's right. I have to drive him around. I need that help. Yeah. And I I can't never say thank you enough for that type of stuff. But for the fact that people do that, I'm like, hey, maybe people do feel and love Israel and maybe I'm not alone. Yeah. See, I, I always feel like saying thank you isn't enough. That's why I was just brainstorming things that I can say beyond thank you. And then I came up with my gratitude is infinite because like there's no... Cause like we all have our you know every everyone has their own personal things you know we all we all do and just mm -hmm. but it's like it's sometimes like thank you it, it's not it, enough. It, right well the littlest things means it's like d wings has messaged me before like we had this conversation yesterday when i made the comment about not having any food yeah and mm -hmm. so i said something and d wings kept bugging me i'm like you, we barely know each other and you're reaching out like that yeah put it this way for me to do stuff like that it's a normal thing and i know where i i've been in the same kind of situations or similar kind of situations and i know how it feels to be not to be able to do it yeah same and i don't like yep. other people to feel like that yep and we are we have became a close community we where have. i do see you as family and if i see you as family you're getting taken care of. Mm -hmm. That is partially partially because of the military thing, you know. You gotta take care of the ones you love. Yeah. Right? And Silver, being like the big brother, I will always be there behind you and making sure you're good as well. Definitely. Dry those eyes before I go wipe them with something. <laughs> you motherfucker. You better start laughing. I will go over there. <laughs> I can guarantee you I will buy a fucking plane ticket and go over there and give you a big ass hug, you bitch. I'll take a fucking road trip in my minivan. I ain't flying. <laughs> Aw, Silver, I love you. Silver, like seriously, you I, I know I speak for all of us whenever I say that you really have been a very big, big blessing in our lives. You're always there to make us smile, you're always there to make us laugh, you're always there to show us support, and we can only hope to show you a fraction of what you showed us. And, I was and yet you're still, and yet still, remember what we said? <laughs> he said you're making it worse, of... you ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, remember what you said before Sai started stream? That, because of what she said in the, the Discord, that, so we gotta make her laugh. Look, look, look what you're doing. You're making her laugh, right? Yes. Okay. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> 
we we suck have... it up and take it like a man exactly <laughs> no I, I really we've all became really good friends and like we're we're family you know what y'all fucking stuck with me i hate to break it so yeah but y'all must stuck with me <laughs> We family now. That you were the first. You were the first one in, considering you had all her other socials. Yeah, you know me inside and out. Oh, uh, Silver, we care about you and, and the banana too. That's from B. Yeah, yeah. So you should probably turn on your voice and say thank you to her for the banana. At least. <laughs> Let me go see what other comments I might have missed. Um, oh, banana. Oh, banana. <laughs> Just... Ew, we're all being disgustingly loving to each other. I know. I know. Okay, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Let's see. We, I, that was good, though. Like, I, I think, I think that a lot of people also needed to hear that too from the outside in. Like, I think in a way it was like it was good for us, but I also think that it was good for other people that were listening. Because whoever's in the chat yeah. right now, I could, I can, I could promise you that something that we've said they they've related to in some kind of way, shape, or form, and maybe, maybe we help some. Maybe. Or maybe we just made them laugh. <laughs> hey, it's left. always good to make people smile. Yes, definitely. All right, let's end the night with one more laughable question. Here's a good one to end the night. <laughs> if you could have dinner with a famous person, living or dead, who would you choose? Oh. Allergies, shit, right? Yeah, nobody. Mama Toast. Huh? What'd you say? I said nobody. Nobody? Nobody. I, I cannot stand famous people. I have such a huge problem with that. Um, All right, Barry, whenever I'm famous, I'm going to remind you of that. I'm going to hey, be famous. No, no, no. So, like, hold on. Hold on. Time out. 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 Time I, I guess I'm not no, going to do that. I'm not going to. These people forget who you are, man. You know what I mean? Like, they, they forget who you are and they leave you in the dust and not all not necessarily well you know there, you there, do get some people like for, famous i know i know i know he oh, it might sound like one, you know i'm like... riding the hype train or whatever but um look at keanu reeves i you, you know what i, would I think he that. is an absolute sweetest human being that i've ever seen that is really well i like that's considered famous i agree he does that. so much for so many people and doesn't mm -hmm. doesn't, he doesn't uh he, he'll wear the same old shoes you yeah. know, it, yeah, I I agree with you on Keanu Reeves. That would be that would be one of the top yeah. of my list. And now, like like, how many people know who Walter Matthau was? Not me. You know, remember the movie Grumpy Old Men? Yes. Vaguely. Vaguely. Okay. Yeah. Well, the the the, the guy seems like that too. Yeah. Yeah. The Sorry. the one guy who's uh, the one the I old guy, what, the bigger old guy, Grumpy Old Men. When he died at his funeral, the guy was a multimillionaire. When he died at his funeral, he had hot dogs and hamburgers. That's fantastic. That's all it was. He didn't have some big extravagant like thing. He was cremated. It was close to family, and they all had hot dogs and hamburgers for his for his wake. That's all it was. Nice, nice. And I mean, that guy acted with Elvis. Yeah. I mean, if I could know, if I could know for sure, like their heart is is truly Beethoven good. Beethoven, or I can't yeah. even say that word. Sorry. Tchaikovsky is what that yeah, is. Tchaikovsky. Yeah. Okay. I want to know how they could co compose things that literally made me cry every time I listen. Oh. Especially because Beethoven was deaf. Uh... Oh. But now that I know yeah. Cy likes crawfish boils when she's famous, I better fucking get invited to a crawfish boil. Fuck yeah. I'm not going I mean, as long as you, you know, so Lynx, famous, I'll should... have something extra for you. AK doesn't like seafood either, so y'all can have okay. your own. Okay, do you like barbecue? I do like barbecue. Okay. Who doesn't like barbecue? Uh, me. <laughs> oh my god, I am unfriending no, no, you no, right no, now. No, I'm, no, gonna, I, I'm muting again. I'm, I'm going to start crying for Cy. Like, so... I like some barbecue, but my dad cooked it all the time when I was growing up. I just got tired of it. Okay, okay. But like brisket, I, I love barbecue brisket and like sausage and stuff like that. But I can't eat it all the time because like I literally, if my mom wasn't cooking something with a room, my dad was barbecuing. Like that, that's how I'm I grew up. I'm down, Siren. Let's all have nuggies. I'd love to do acid uh -huh. with the Beatles. That's a good one. Hey, Kurt Cobain. Yes. You, you know what? Who I would like to meet? Who? Adolf Hitler, so I can kill him again. That's a good that answer. <laughs> you see. Look at that. That's Sometimes a... you don't even oh, you just, need somebody to be nice. You just you just brought up an interesting topic that happened on another podcast I was on. Oh my god. <laughs> I, somebody asked Peter somebody Boyd, somebody yeah. somebody literally asked if you could go back in time and stop one world event from happening, what would it be? And a lot of people said the Holocaust. And yeah. a lot of people said a lot of people said 9-11. And I they, yeah, I said nothing. 
And they're like, what do you mean you wouldn't stop? Why wouldn't you stop the Holocaust? I'm like, because Hitler did what he did. I think I'm with you on that one. We got in there, like, the people got in there and evil was destroyed. 9-11 happened. A lot of people say it was pointless. One of the most evil motherfuckers was taking off this planet because yep. of yep. because of that. So even though it's a necessary, it's, sadly, it's a necessary evil. And not to mention, if you change the basic string theory, you change something in the past, the, the future is going to be different. The butterfly effect. Are you talking See, about the butterfly effect? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Not only it's that, still exactly. Theory. That's the whole uh, point with me. Like, I really don't like running back to the past and trying to fix stuff. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I don't want to do it. Because last time you ran to the past, I learned my lesson. Bernstein bears. is what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It's still Bernstein bears, okay? It's not Bernstein bears. It's Bernstein bears. Last time you did that, freaking, we got a new Batman, and it's it doesn't look good. I'm sorry. No. What's another thing Flashpoint screwed up for me besides in comic books? Chick-fil-A was misspelled at one time. Chick-fil-A was misspelled. Fruit of the Loop had a cornucopia. Dink, I know, I'm sorry. Dink, dude, do you, you know who else died, Dink? Ollie, my best friend. Yep. Ollie died. You see, Sad day. on the Fruit of the Loom thing real quick, I know it's kind of off topic, but I remember that Fruit of the Loom because that's how I learned what a cornucopia was. And even the mm -hmm. other day, like a couple of weeks ago, me and my mom were talking about Mandela Effect, and she was like, oh yeah, that's how you learned what a cornucopia was. And I was like, so my memories do not deceive me. You remember this too? Where, wait, wait, where, where, where are you getting that it didn't have a cornucopia? It doesn't That's have a cornucopia. Mandela effect. Not anymore. It no, it anymore. never has. It yeah, yeah. never has. No, no. Google it. No, no shit. I Google it. I don't care. It's it. Liter it was literally a rewind. Just like, I just think like, lying. just like Luke, I am your father. Never, never happened. happened. No, that that is just literally bad quoting. But yeah, uh, yeah, Fruit of the Loom never That's had not... a cornucopia. My mom was even like, "Oh yeah, you learned it because we were folding your dad's Fruit of the Loom underwear." And I was like, "Oh my god!" So I remember that too. But yeah, never had a cornucopia. It was all because Barry Ella went to the past. <laughs> Fuck it up, guys. Fuck it up. It's funny because where where I'm from, a few years ago, there was a unknown sonic boom that everyone like miles and miles and miles away from me heard but the news never covered it nor have we ever got an answer for it and i was like god damn it barry allen barry <laughs> allen <laughs> tricks go i gotta go for shapes you're, you're the question <laughs> hold on dake said tricks glitched out and lost his fruit shapes and then they came back what the fuck did you do barry <laughs> how much See, we all thought we just grew up because tricks were for kids, but now they're back. Fuck. Yep. 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 Tricky. I love that we started out one discussion and it ended up in another. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Well, it was all fantastic right. to have you. Thank you so much. Dank, do you want to come answer some two questions? So freaking awesome. Dank time. I know you're so not ready. showing me a fertile balloon with a corticopia. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. Get somebody photoshopped that and how it was supposed to look because I looked it up so it. many times. Unless, unless the <laughs> unless the timeline changed again, yeah. that was like six years of no shaves, Barry. Please explain. <laughs> that was awesome. Am I just thinking? No, I'm telling you, there's Photoshop of what people remember it being. But mm -hmm. you can go in. Yeah, but once you go down, once you go down this hole, you never it starts get out. fucking with your head. You never get out. It starts fucking with your head. It's like, cause, like, I don't remember it, but I remember it. You know? I remember it vividly, cause I didn't learn what a cornucopia was from Thanksgiving. I learned it from those fucking my dad's underwear. My dad's ladies' tidies taught me what the fucking cornucopia was.